Hey guys, it's Mr. Hayhurst here for Super Dojo, and I wanted to tell you about something really special. It's called the Alpha Black Belt Program. Well, this all started because there was a group of students that after they earned their black belts, they were like, you know, earning my black belt, it was kind of easy for me. Well, it wasn't easy for a lot of students, but there are those uh, kids that pick up things really quick or adults that pick up things really quick and they want more to to do. So they, they constantly want that next thing, but they have to wait to be able to test. So I wanted to create a program that is all about the overachievers. It's the people that uh, want more, the people that go above and beyond with their training. They train every day or they practice for an hour at a time. Um, so this is what it's all about. So normally a student will go from white belt to black belt and uh, they'll practice every you know couple times per week. They'll come to class two or three times per week and they'll just go through the cycle as anyone else does. Um, they'll earn their stripes and they'll go up through the belts and, and it's pretty clear for them. They go up the ladder of success. But there's other students that you know, remember all the forms that they learn. They remember all the self-defense moves. It doesn't just come second nature, but they could practically teach it to other people. Well, this program is for those students and anyone that needed an extra challenge just to motivate them, it's for them too. So we call it the alpha black belts. At the end, after you earn your alpha first degree black belt or alpha first degree or second degree black belt, um, those students will really feel like they went through a huge course. They went through all of the training that it would take to become a superhero. So uh, this is what it's all about. Number one, the students are going to go through a curriculum of six forms. It needs to be memorized and they have to perform it really well. Um, so not just one form at a time and then they forget the first one. It's that they have to show me all those forms. Um, and then there's six self-defense sets. So it consists of like 15 different scenarios. So that's like someone's trying to hit you with punches or kicks. Um, someone's trying to do a bear hug to the front of you or to the back of you. Uh, people try to tackle. So all these different scenarios we're going to address and provide a really great scenario. Those students need to be able to perform it even if they haven't done it for two years. They should be able to, you know, remember it. Um, you know, all right, here, I'm going to try to punch you. Do you remember what to do? And that student will be like, yep, I remember. And we'll be able to perform it at any time. The other thing is the six sparring sets. So when we do a sparring set, there's six different groups. Each group consists of a defensive drill, uh, pad drills, which is like a neutral drill. So it's just a great uh, exercise in different kicking so that a student will be able to get faster and stronger. They'll be able to kick higher, um, assess the targets, and, and it's a really good um, way to practice the basics in a fun way. So the defensive, the neutral, and attacking scenarios. And every time we do a sparring set, it'll be three different kicks. And the way we do the kicks we we teach the kicks as a basic in order to teach teach sparring methods so it's not that we're teaching the basics because that's what we do in forms it's that we use the basics to teach sparring so that's what the sparring sets are about so those students will be able to put those kicks together. For example, I could say, all right, show me a round kick, fast kick. As two examples, the kid will be like, okay, I know exactly what that is, and they'll be able to throw it immediately. So that's the core of it. That's the, the curriculum that they need to be able to perform. Not so hard, but it does take a lot of memorization, and a white belt will have gone through all that stuff by the time they get to a black belt. They just have to retain it. The next part that's important is the participation in our sparring program, um, which is focused all around challenges that teach strategy. So uh, each each uh, week we focus on a easy challenge, a beginner challenge, and an intermediate challenge. There's different levels. We call it the core challenge. That's the easy ones. The power challenges. That is the the beginner one, so like the middle level, and then the prestige challenges. So just the other week, um, for example, our basic challenge was a kid would have to land a certain kick. Uh, I say the specific right leg uh, axe kick uh, to one of the their opponents within the time of their match. So a lot of kids got that. It was pretty easy. But then when the power challenge came, it was harder. It was like you have to be able to score with that same kick on that specific leg um, five times in one match, which became a little bit harder. In the beginning, they started to be able to do two in one match, and then they, they landed three in one match. And by the end of class, not everyone got it. And then the prestige challenge would be something specific like um, since we all wear the protective headgear, the student would have to land that axe kick 
to their partner's headgear and they don't earn the prestige challenge unless they make their partner's headgear like turn or something and their opponent had to like fix their headgear and no one got hurt during it it was just fun and it's so uplifting when you hit someone's headgear and they have to fix it and you're like ha ah, got you uh, so the next thing is um, we want the alpha black belts to feel a connection to their community. So um, it's important that they participate in all of our community, uh, community events, and that's probably like one time per year. And it's not like a burden. Like the students shouldn't say, oh, man, you know, if I want to be a black belt, it's so much responsibility. It's more like as a good person, you care about your community. So when we do something for the community, let's say, for example, we adopted a highway. Um, when it's time to go do that, that student is like, all right, yeah, let's do this. You know, I noticed that the highway was a little stinky. It had some trash on it, and I'll come with you because I'd like to see our community get better too. So it's a character thing, not a responsibility thing. Um, the other part is... A normal black belt journey is challenging, but for the alpha black belt test, they have to do a spectacular demonstration at the testing. So when they um, when they do their test to become a black belt, like the last one, which would be actually the 12th test, they need to do some type of performance that's going to make the crowd go crazy. So um, it'll be a board breaking slash self-defense scenario, um, but the students need to be creative. So I don't care if the student's six years old or if the student's... Uh, you know, 106 years old, they need to use their creativity to come up with this really spectacular demonstration. And I'm not limiting Alpha Black Belt to a certain age. I'm giving specific requirements and whoever can do it, can do it. So um, the spectacular demonstration. So there's some things that need to go with that. You need to have instructor approval and stuff and make it look really awesome. Um, so we'll just leave it at something simple like that, a spectacular and creative uh, demonstration. And um, the last thing is being an alpha black belt, it's like an exclusive club of achievers, okay? So um, it's not it's not something that people, uh, well, it's something that I think most people are going to say, yeah, I want to do that. And then they realize that they can't remember this form or they keep messing up this sparring drill or, um, you know, this, this self-defense move, they can make it work on a little guy, but they can't make it work on a big guy. So it's going to take a little bit of extra work. So I think some students may lose motivation and become a little bit uh, discouraged when it comes to it. So we want to create a group that supports each other. So it's really a group of overachievers. Now a lot of parents want their kids to try and earn that alpha black belt and a lot of students are like, I want that alpha black belt. Um, and what I mean is the alpha black belts have a special super high quality black belt that they get instead of gold letters on it. They have the ice blue letters. So it's really, really cool. Um, you'll see some coming up soon. Our uh, leadership team is going to be the first ones to earn the alpha black belt. And for me too, I'm going to make sure they test me on this stuff so that I can earn my alpha black belt too. Um, so I don't think I should just buy it and wear it, right? I mean, I came up with the program, but I should be able to walk the walk just like anyone else. So my um, instructor team and, and junior leaders, the kids too, they're going to have to approve me. And I think that's a great thing um, just to show my leadership. Um, I think I should do that for everyone. Um, so anyone that's interested in the Alpha Black Belt program, um, in the link to this uh, video, there should be a form or a link. And you click that and you put your information in. And what that does is it creates a support group where we can make sure everyone's prepared. You have all the paperwork that lays out all the things that the students need to get or have or whatever it is. Um, and then uh, registering for different things or making sure you know what's going on next all that's going to be part of that I guess you could say it's a mailing list in addition to that it's going to be like a texting group so uh, we can do uh, alpha black belt only uh, like events and get togethers and really make it strong so fill out that form um, at the bottom of this um, according to the link right, right in the video somewhere um, below, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or whatever it is, check that out. And then if you have any questions, you can email me, mrhayhurst at gmail.com. All right, let's be alpha black belts.